D2, D, and Y. Real world HVAC simplified. And then I'm gonna go ahead real quick in this video. I'm just gonna do a quick overview of the settings in this on the thermostat. Um, this is a passcode, 1939. And uh, so I'm done. And you can pass, you could find or find the password in the equipment um, equipment status. So if you go to install a setup, and select your commercial. Already, I set this for cover. If you watch my previous video, you'll see that it's already been done. One thing I didn't show you guys is that is how to uh um once you once you make all your changes over here, and you hit um done it asks you do you want to exit installer setup so again if you watch my previous video you will know how to locate the password for this thermostat and when once you're done with all your changes it asks you do you want to exit installer setup you said you click yes um if you didn't make any changes that's where you come back to the main menu however if you did it's going to ask you let's 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 do this let's just change that to residential just for argument's sake and then it done. Yeah, so here's where it here goes. Okay, do you want to save changes? In this case, I don't want to. I'm just gonna hit no. All right. Uh, I'm gonna jump right into the uh, wireless uh, menu, which is the red link stuff. Mm. Okay, wireless manager select, and I'm gonna select add device. Right, preparing. Okay, so it's ready to go. So here, there's my first sensor, and the batteries are already in it. All right, I mean, straightforward for the batteries. I'm gonna press this button right here. So I press the button, the light is flashing, and you see automatically it found it. And I'm gonna rename this sensor, yes. I'm gonna call this sensor, sensor one. Ah. Sensor has been added and hit done. Connect more devices, yes. Uh, so that was out of the way. Okay, so I have another sensor here. It's another one. It's gonna hit that button. Okay, so it's adding my sensor. Okay, rename, I'm gonna say yes. And I want to call that sensor number two. Okay, done. Okay, so then I could go down and I'm gonna add, it done. I'm gonna say, I wanna add more, I'm gonna yes. And this time, it's the gateway. All right, so right now you could see the wire is dangling. It's not connected to my router or anything like that. I got my power wire connected and that's all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit this button right here. If I can do it with one hand, come on. Okay, so we should be coming up soon. Adding gateway. Bravo, it's as easy as that, folks. Gateway has been added. All right, so I'm already done. All right, so I'm, you know, I'm using my phone for recording this right here, so just bear with me. Done. And I'm gonna say no. I got no more devices to connect, so I'm gonna say no. And then I could go here and I'm gonna say connected devices. I'm just gonna see what I have. Select. I have a gateway. I have an indoor sensor too. An indoor sensor. Actually, I think when I did the first sensor, I had a... Uh, forgot to rename that i mean i mean i hit cancel as opposed to renaming i'm gonna have to go back in there and uh fix that but here you go if i rename devices select uh, thermostat in the sensor okay, this one here select and that i want to call indoor sensor number one so i'm going to done 
All right, so you're set. So here we have thermostat. If you watch my previous videos, you will see that um, you will see. Uh, so there's one more step here. Let me do that real quick. I'm gonna go to home. Um, I'm gonna go to menu. Scroll down, installer. Okay, Excel options. And the password, and this one is 1939. And if you would see my previous videos, you would have known how to locate the password if you don't know it. I'm not gonna do it again, just watch the videos. Um, start a setup, select commercial, next, next. And the reason why I'm coming back in here, I'm gonna show you, because I have two sensors, if you noticed, hooked up, two indoor sensors. So that's what I'm going to configure right now. So I'm keep going down. Let me see this. One sec. Okay, you can see that. Mm -hmm. I'm not making these, I'm leaving all, you know, factory default. I'm not making any changes to that. Oh, wait, I want to make changes to this right here. Go back, we got two per day next so okay I want to make that uh, 60 60 I mean 85 oh, this video is getting kind of long okay so let me go okay so this is no this is you'd select yes here if you have s1 is too wired and again previous video you know what I'm talking about uh, use thermostat sensors for temp control no because i'm going to use my remote sensors indoor sensors okay so more next use indoor sensor for temp control yes good and use indoor sensor number two for temp average yes that's it done exit yes yes save changes all right Stay tuned.